Hey Sparkies. Um, this is just kind of a catch-up blog. I haven't really been um, making these much, so I just wanted to catch you all up on what's going on with me. Um, I know some of you asked about the master cleanse that I was doing, and um, what happened with that was I I'm actually really proud of myself. I didn't finish the full 10 days, but um, I tried. Um, I did seven days. And what was happening was, um, uh, about three years ago, um, I had some problems, some female problem issues, and I almost, um, lost all of the blood in my body. And so I have issues with that during, um, my female, pro my female time of the month. And, uh, every, all that's been under control, but I started to go on this cleanse and, you know, I'm taking cayenne pepper, which I'm wondering might have been a part of it or something, because you put cayenne pepper in the lemonade for this master cleanse. And, um, uh, you know, I was reading on cayenne pepper, and it opens your, um, it thins your blood, opens your arteries up wider, you know, dilates your um, veins and things like that to help blood flow and things like that. And um, I noticed about the fifth day... Um, I started my, I know it's too much information, but, um, Tom came about the third day of the master cleanse and about the fifth day of the master cleanse, I was having some pretty severe issues. Um, I kept going on the sixth day. It was even worse. And my husband got really worried and we decided that it was probably a good idea. Um, I wanted to do at least seven days so I could say I did a full week. It was probably a good idea for me to try or to not to go the full 10 days because I just didn't want to end up in the hospital or anything. So I stopped it after the seven days and we went on the three day, um, ease in, um, like we're supposed to at the end of 10 days. We did the three day ease in and, um, drank orange juice the first day, soup the second day and orange juice, and then a salad and soup and orange juice the third day. And it all, it all went really well. Actually the master cleanse, I have to say was great. Other than my issues with my own problems, the Master Cleanse was great. I didn't have any issues with headaches, with feeling sick, with feeling anything, really. I really thought I was going to have a hard time. I wasn't hungry. I had a little bit of cravings here and there, but it was nothing, nothing huge or anything. And that could have been because my husband was doing it with me, which was great. But, um, really, it was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. And, I'm going to do it again in about probably two months, about three, three or four months before I go on my vacation in September. I'm going to do it probably two weeks before I go on vacation just so I, you know, feel a little bit cleansed. Maybe it'll help me to eat better on vacation, things like that. But, um, I really felt good when I was on it. I had so much energy and I changed the, um, Maple syrup that you use, the grade B pure maple syrup, I changed to um, raw agave nectar, and that worked just as well. Um, I lost a total of 12 pounds in seven days on the Master Cleanse, um, and I just felt great. My body felt clean, I guess, light and clean. I don't know how else to explain it, but I really actually enjoyed that time period, and... Um, the only horrible thing is a salt water flush and that's not required, but I didn't feel like I was cleansing myself out unless I did the salt water flush in the morning. And it's just the chugging the 32 ounces of salt water that about killed me every morning. I was like, oh, I, I can't do it. You know, my stomach would turn and it was really gross. But once that was done, the rest of the day was just really easy. I was doing, I was going on walks and everything, you know, it was great. So for anybody who, you know, thinks about trying the Master Cleanse, I think you should do it. Definitely do your ease-in process because when you're out, when you go off of it, because um, your body needs to adjust to actually starting to digest foods. But my tongue turned white, which indicated I was, you know, detoxifying. So um, that was interesting too. But it was a good experience. It really was. So now that that's done... Um, after the cleanse, after I was able to eat what I wanted, I did good for the first week. Second week, I kind of went crazy. Um, 
And then I've just kind of been eating what I want, but, you know, not like large portions of it for a while since the cleanse. Um, and my weight probably has went back up because, of course, it will. A lot of what you lose is like water weight and whatever was in your intestines to begin with. But I think I maintained about a seven pound weight loss, um, I hope. I haven't gotten on the scale for a while. So I've decided I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't want to even see it. I just I want to get my butt in gear and um, get working on my weight and just not even worry about the scale. But uh, so let's see. Some new things in my life. Um, we have got my stepdaughter here. She came down. Sunday, my husband flew actually to go get her from Phoenix. He flew to Nebraska to get her, flew back with her. And um, so she's here and she is doing um, the Arizona testing for schooling along with my daughter. And we leave tomorrow after they get out of testing to um, take her back home, which is not a very long visit, but at least we got to see her. And we're going to leave tomorrow because um, we want to... Um, stop in between, um, sleep at my husband's mom and dad's house, and then get up on Friday morning and go to Denver, Colorado, and we're going to go to the zoo there, and we're going to go to um, uh, Casa Bonita for supper that night, and um, just some fun things, you know, try to make it a little bit more like a vacation instead of just taking her home. And then we're going to get up on Saturday morning and go see the um, movie Rio, the cartoon movie. I don't know if you've seen the previews of it, but it looks so good. So we're going to go see that and then meet her mom and um, then we're going to drive home ourselves. So it's going to be a pretty long weekend, but it's been a good visit so far. Yesterday we went to Sedona, um, Arizona, which is just really close to us actually. And um, we um, got a timeshare there and so for going to listen to the timeshare presentation, we got free tickets to go on a um, Sedona Jeep tour to see the Red Rock and, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. And we went on one yesterday with about, there was the four of us and then there was four other people. And we had a blast. There was some crazy four-wheeling down some rocks. I didn't know if we were going to make it for a while, but it was really fun. Um, relaxing because we didn't have to do any of the driving or anything like that, but it was it was so fun. And um, my, our children and loved it. They enjoyed it. My husband enjoyed it. Um, it was about a three, two and a half hour tour about. So um, it was nice. We had a whole lot of fun. We went back in the whole, you know, it was called the Outlaw Tour. So we were way back in in um, the rocks and stuff. And then it's um, ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. <laughs> and then we went afterwards. Um, Oh, before that, we went to our resort that we got the timeshare at, and um, we have a pass where we can swim there and use their miniature golf and stuff like that, even if we're not staying there. So the kids got to swim. Um, it was warm out in Sedona yesterday, so the kids swam, and they had a good time. And then after everything, we went to, out to eat at this really awesome Mexican restaurant that we found. And so the whole day was just really enjoyable and relaxing and nice. We had a good time, which we needed. Um... And then, yeah, we've got a really good vacation planned in September. We're actually going to go stay in a resort right on the beach. You step down the steps from our resort and you're on your own beach. I cannot wait for it. It's going to be so fun. We're going to go to Disneyland and we're going to go to SeaWorld, San Diego Zoo, just a bunch of things and um, make some memories and have fun. So, of course, you know, I want to be thinner I'm not doing it for the trip. I'm doing it forever, but I would like to, it to happen before the trip so that I can actually get on rides. Um, let's see. I don't want to make this too long. Um, I don't think there's really a whole lot else to say. Um, I miss everybody. I hope everybody's doing really well. Um, it's really easy to sink down into a dark pit, so I hope that people are not doing that like I did for a while and um everything's just going smoothly for them um let's see I really don't think there's anything else to say I mean one long boring vlog um everything's just going pretty well for me 
and I need to get my butt in gear on the whole healthy living thing, I think. That's about it. So, okay. I think I'm going to end this vlog now. So, bye.